What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Echo back with another episode of Pokemon Go and today we've got a pretty short little adventure. Um, I just kind of wanted to go over the, oh god, Verizian. Verizian is the name of it for raid counters, but also I've got to collect, hopefully got to collect if I didn't mess up and do it earlier, my rewards for the week because I did go ahead and get in it reset, but I haven't claimed it yet, so let's see if my rewards pop up here for Adventure Sync, because I did get a pretty decent amount of steps in. There it is, 69.9. Didn't break the 70, but that's still pretty great. Gonna get a bunch of stuff, but what do we get? 6,000 dust and eight rare candies. Perfect, I'll take it. So real quick, I wanna use my rocket radar and see if there's anything around. Perfect, there is actually one right up over here. So we'll go over to that, and I want to take that down if it's either a Sierra or an Arlo, because I really don't want to bother with Cliff. If it's one of those two, we'll go ahead and knock it down and then go over Verizian raid counters, and then I've got to get out of here for the day, so let's get over and take this out. Quick little interruption before we go over and beat up on the Sierra. I kind of forgot that today's also my research breakthrough because I was a day behind because I missed a day and you know, it happens. But let's claim this reward because this might be a shiny sable light. Oh, never mind. Now, mm, I hate it when it does that for the breakthrough. 624 though. Uh, I don't think that's the 100%, but even if it is, I don't really want it to be because I have so many hit that excellent. That's nice. All right, so let's see if we get another not shiny Articuno. Claim reward, dust, Ultra Balls, week like 17 with no Unova Stone. All right, three, two, one. Not shiny fire chicken. All right, well, let's go ahead and hit this with a pineapple and I have zero candies for this. Man, I hate trying to catch Moltres. That should have been an excellent. I'm not okay with that. One, and it jumps. Hey, three great throws, now I can get some Pokeballs. One, two, and it's gonna jump again. Why does Moltres hate me? Dink, hit another great. One, two, three, there we go. All right, run. Let's go see what the IVs are on this. 15 attack, but not the greatest. It'll probably end up being a trade anyways, but time to go over and go over these move sets and we'll be back. All right, so we're in luck. It ended up being a Sierra, so I am gonna go ahead and go in and knock this down. Uh, two day streak, what do you know? I actually remember to do that. Uh, Battle Sierra, go ahead and use it. Now for this, we're going to use um, our Lucario, I was using Machamp before, but Lucario does seem to have a pretty good defense against it. And then we go in with Melmetal, if this will work. I don't know why it's always so laggy. And then last but not least is going to be a Bite Crunch Tyranitar. It is so hot, I just want to knock this down and get moving. Uh, I need this Bite Crunch 100% maxed out. Let's hop in and see how fast we can take down this Sierra and see if maybe we can get ourselves a Shiny Shadow Sneasel because I only had the one and evolved it straight to Weavile because why not? All right, just let the first power up punch go ahead and do its thing because I just gotta waste the shield anyways. Shield one wasted. And I actually think, yeah, we're gonna end up tapping the Sneasel out, that's okay, attack still rose. And go ahead and drop this power up punch and it's gonna be Lapras. So Lapras is one of the more difficult ones to take out, but Melmetal is usually the one I use to knock it out. And shield number two blocked, attack rose. It's not gonna let me get off another attack, that's no big deal. Let's bring out the Melmetal. All right, we got a rock slide. Let's see if we can hit the excellent. I'm usually pretty accurate. All right, there's the excellent. Keep tapping away, super effective, perfect. I've still got both of my shields. All right, excellent number two. Let's see if we can do it. All right, excellent. Down, all right, keep tapping away. I don't even know if this is gonna be able to get an attack off on me, nope. 
All right, so we're gonna take this down without using a shield on either of these. And excellent, down. All right, let's see what she's got for the last one. It should be, oh, Alakazam, okay, perfect. So let's get this rock slide off. Another excellent. It's not as effective, but you know what I mean? Use as much damage as you can with it. And grip one last rock slide. Oh, I might miss the excellent because I missed that one. If I can hit the rest of them, I should still get an excellent. Yes, still get an excellent. Wow, we're almost going to take this out with only two Pokemon. Oh, nope, because there goes that. All right, bring out the Tyranitar. And I'll just go ahead and tap it out in a couple of taps. Down goes Alakazam. And let's go ahead and see what we have here. Sierra lost, perfect, you win. Dust, revives, potions, no Unova Stone, that's okay, I still have like nine of them. But, can we get Shiny Shadow Sneasel? Three, two, one, mm, no, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch this and I'm gonna try and quick catch it. It's very hot, so I'm gonna miss the throw. There we go, all right. One, okay, all right, you know what? I don't wanna waste it because I've only got 23 left, but I really wanna catch this fast. Hit the grate, almost missed it. One, two, three, and run from it. Ooh, quick Sableye? No, all right. So let's see what the IVs on this bad boy were. Not terrible, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the car because it is stupid hot out and we will go over Verizian counters in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, when you're watching this, it will be the release day of Verizian today at uh, 1 p.m. PDT, four o'clock my time. And I just wanted to go over the raid counters for it, so I pulled up Pokemon Go Hub's article here and realized, and okay, screen recording isn't gonna work that time, no problem, let's see if it will this time. Oh, no it won't because I'm plugged into the radio. Good grief, I forget about that every time. So, here we go, all right. So it's gonna be a tier five raid boss, 39,601 CP. It's a grass and fighting type, so it's incredibly vulnerable to flying types. You're gonna be looking for level 20, it will be 17, 27 is the CP you're looking for for the 100%, and level 25 is 21.59. This is where I kind of get piped. Uh, wing attack, sky attack, Moltres. All of mine are double fire move set in. Uh, Honchcrow, I have two of them, I think, but I don't know if they have the right move set. And obviously Rayquaza, all of my Rayquazas are double dragon type move sets for Rayquaza counters when we were duoing them. And yeah, so my Rayquazas don't exactly have the best move sets, and I am out of TMs. If you don't have that, Unpheasant works, uh, but Mewtwo, Confusion, and Psy Strike, I have that, and I also have a lot of double psychic type move set ones. Togekiss, I have. Lugia, I have. And then you can go Wing Attack, Brave Bird, Fire Spin, Blast Burn, Charizard, Confusion Psychic. Uh, Alakazam, Fire Spin, Overheat, Chandelure, Roserade, Executor, Espeon, Latios. There's a lot of options in here to use against it, but your best is going to be the top three of Moltres, Honchkrow, and Rayquaza. But I have like literally no TMs. I mean, hold on, I'm gonna put that screen recording out and go over here and pull up what I have. I have a lot of Rayquaza, but the issue is I have no Rayquaza for this. So I have 17 Rayquaza and let's look at this. So we've got Dragon Tail Outrage, Dragon Tail Outrage, Dragon Tail Outrage, Dragon Tail Outrage. Literally every single one of these. Oh wait, there's an Aerial Ace and there's an Aerial Ace, but they have the wrong uh, fast attack. But I do have fast TMs, so maybe I can just do a couple of them. But yeah, those are the only two. I only have two with Aerial Ace and then this is my charge TM situation. Zero, goose egg, nada. But that's because I haven't really been doing raids lately. I did a couple Terrakians, but they weren't giving out TMs like they used to. Ooh, Pat Rat? I'm never gonna get that shiny either. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, today's video, when I say it's gonna be a short one, it's gonna be a really short one because that's all we really did have to go over today is Verizian comes out tomorrow, which is December 17th, but when you're watching this video, it'll be today at 1 p.m. PDT, so whatever that is, your local time, make sure you go out and get those counters ready to go. Rayquaza, Honchkrow, Moltres. Now remember, Moltres with Sky Attack is a legacy move, so if you didn't get it on that raid day, you can't TM to it, so don't waste your TMs on that. Um, you know, I don't even know if I have any of those. I think I have, maybe, that one has Sky Attack, that one has Sky Attack. Okay, I actually have one, two, three, four with Sky Attack, but none of them are powered up because none of them are good. But I mean, I guess it's better to have unpowered up superior counters than powered up crappy counters. I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about the new boss coming out tomorrow, but I've got a lot of stuff to do. I've still got to get back to work. I'm obviously going to have to edit this tonight and get it out for tomorrow morning. So when you guys are watching this, remember... I put my videos live at uh, 7 a.m. my local time, which is 4 a.m. PDT. So hopefully this will go out in enough time for you guys to get those raid battles and parties together. Unless you're in Australia or the Asia Pacific, at which point you've already got the raids and this is kind of a moot point. But I know you guys can read raid counters on your own, but I was told that, you know, a lot of people don't like reading it. They'd rather hear it like an audiobook. So I hope you guys don't mind when I do these little updates and news updates on events and raid boss counters and all that fun stuff. Also today, when I'm recording this, the egg shakeup has occurred. So if you are incubating the new eggs, let me know down in the comments what you're hatching out of that shakeup because I have one incubator and it's got a 10K in it from like four days ago. So it's not gonna be a new hatch. So let me know what's in the new hatches if you got them. Let me know if you're happy about Verizian. Let me know if you already got it because you're in the areas that already have it. Leave me a like on the video if you're enjoying the content. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will catch you guys in the next one.